I'm going to show you how to crop and reduce the size of your image using GIMP. I've opened up an image in GIMP and I'm ready to crop it. First I need to find the crop tool. In the toolbox, if we hover our cursor over each icon, it will tell us what they are. This one is the crop tool. So I clicked on it and now I'm ready to crop. I'm going to crop an area of my picture by dragging a box over the area I want to keep. I can make adjustments before I crop by dragging the sides in and out or the top and bottom or I can use the corners as well and this will pull two edges in at once. So once I've positioned this rectangle to the way I want it cropped, all I need to do is double click right in this inner area. And you can see now I have cropped my image and all the excess has disappeared. Now that my picture is cropped, I need to reduce the size. So we will go up to image, scale image. And now we have our window for scaling our image open. I can see the resolution for my image is 72. This is good for websites. Anything up to 100 is good as well. But if it gets over 100, you should reduce this Looking at the size, however, I can see that the height of my image is over 3000 pixels. This is too high. So what I'm going to do is just change this and I'm going to make it 500, which is a good size. I'm going to also make sure this little chain is linked so that both the width and height stay the same proportion. And then when I click out of here, so if I click in here, now both numbers change and they stay in proportion. All I need to do now is click scale. My picture has got very small. But don't worry, if you come down to the bottom of your screen, you will see the zoom. And my zoom is 12.5, which is really small. And I'm going to come up to 100. And now I'm seeing the actual size of the picture. Now all I need to do is save it. I'm going to go File, Export. And in here I'm going to give it a good name. We'll call it Quilt 2. Make sure it's got JPG on the end for a JPEG. And then I'm going to click Export. Another small window will pop up. This is to do with your layers and different settings. Usually the default is fine, so all you need to do is push export. Now my picture is cropped, reduced in file size and ready to load into the website.